north east to east pounding of the beaches a beach pounder uh even uh, as the eye wall exits florida you're getting uh water stacking up into the inlets matanzas inlet nassau sound uh mayport jetties uh st augustine where we continue to get that water stacking up and that's what's going to lead to some surge. and what you just showed right there you were showing about 5 6 a.m yeah. where we had that continuous onshore flow that is also about the same time as high tide there thursday morning right so we're talking about when we say three to five feet we're saying above the high tide mark so if the high tide already is kind of up there in your area because we have been seeing that nor'easter yep. um that's going to be even higher than that so this is definitely going to be looking at as you mentioned a lot of those inlets around st augustine matanzas inlet all the way down to flagler beach you're going to be looking at some coastal flooding here uh, you can call it a storm surge yep. it, it, it's going to be pushed water being pushed on shore due to the storm and and we'll talk about the usual usual suspects in a second thinking about uh, david shores in st augustine uh downtown st augustine bayfront uh, that gets river water up into the avenida menendez there that main uh street looking over uh the river um uh, yeah, jacksonville riverside looking into san marco just have those things in mind let's take a look at some of the the kind of the wind gradients and, and the big numbers that matter so when we talk about 40 miles an hour winds and that's what we where we have have kind of highlighted in yellow uh, there. That's when bridges close. 60 miles an hour up, you get widespread trees down, power out. That's where we got highlighted in orange. Now, 75 and up, this is would be sustained, not necessarily gusts. That's when you get roof damage, power line damage, extensive uh, widespread power outage. Now, the wind gusts um, in, in bursts now causing some extensive damage as well. And, and that's when we're talking about massive limbs coming down and causing property damage. But while we have our hurricane warning, thinking St. John's, 